Hey guys, happy Thursday to you all. I thought I'd come on here and talk a little bit about what's going on in my life lately. There's some fun, exciting things happening, um, as well as show you my outfit of the day. So we are having a Halloween party on Saturday, and of course it's a costume party. And I thought this year, instead of going out and spending $75 to $100, if not more, on a slutty costume, why not just make it myself or pull things from my own wardrobe? So that's exactly what we're doing. I'm going to wear one of my grandma's vintage dresses from the 50s and a pair of like little wrist gloves and a vintage pearl necklace. And I'm going to wear my own um, cherry apron. It has like a sweetheart neckline and like ruffles. And um, I'm going as a 1950s housewife. And I told my friend Lisa that I was going as this, and she's like, so you're going as yourself? I'm like, really? But I guess it is. I almost feel like it's kind of like my alter ego. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to go as. And Tyler's going to go as a 1950s greaser, and he's going to be wearing things from his own wardrobe as well as mine. He's going to wear a pair of my black skinny Fidelity jeans, which... I just think it's so cute. I don't know why he doesn't wear skinny jeans more often. or They just look so good on him. He has like the perfect body. He can wear anything, I swear to God, but he refuses. He's dead set against ever wearing skinny jeans except, of course, for a costume party. I think it's hilarious. But I thought he was so cute um, when he tried them on yesterday. I'm totally going to take tons of pictures and post them. Anyways, um, and then he's like, are people going to notice I'm wearing girl jeans? I'm like, I won't tell anyone tell anyone and I'm on here telling everyone anyways it's just it's really fun and it's like a way to save money too um you know and then we can put it towards other things like booze because you know there's gonna be a lot of booze drank on Saturday anywho um that's really fun and I've been coming on YouTube and just looking up hair tutorials and makeup tutorials for the 50s uh, I've pretty much got it down. I really, I practiced the hair a couple times because it was really difficult to do the hair back in, in the 50s. Like it was a lot of manipulating and stuff. And I, for the most part, wear my hair pretty like free and like, you know, where their, their hair was like literally molded to their head. It doesn't move sort of thing. Um, but I took a lot of inspiration from my grandma's photos from the 50s and um, I'm actually going to do a hair tutorial on the day of the Halloween party and show you guys how to achieve the same look. And for the makeup, I, I've got it down. The only part I'm having a problem with is that like, they wore a lot of makeup back then because it was a very like um, pure matte, high coverage look. And I actually don't wear foundation. I'll wear like a tinted moisturizer once in a while. Um, but I don't wear foundation just because I don't, I know it evens out your skin complexion and takes away redness and yada, yada, yada. I thankfully don't have a lot of redness and I have freckles. How am I ever going to, you know, like I'm never going to even out my skin tone. I'm always going to have freckles, unfortunately. Actually, I like my freckles. Who am I joking? I like them and I've embraced them. I think they make me look younger and they are literally a part of me. I cannot change it. Um, but for the costume, it's, I'm really wanting a high coverage foundation. So if you guys know of anything that covers freckles, anything, tell me what you're using because I need to get some because they really truly had like this very high coverage matte look. So let me know if you guys know of anything like that. Um, so it's fun. I don't know. It's, it's really neat to, to dress up. It's fun. Anyways, also, I'm really into multimedia these days. It's really huge in my life right now. Um, I have not only my YouTube channel, I have a Facebook page, I have Twitter, and I'm contributing to a, diff a few different blogs. I shouldn't say a few, a couple. Um, but uh, So if you guys want any information, I'll leave it um, down below. My Facebook page, you can look up Studio One Hair Professionals. My Twitter is at Jenny L. Glenn. I'll leave it all down below. Um, I'm also contributing to the Island Style blog, which is just this blog that we've just launched. Like, it's just brand new. And um, so I feel like it's kind of like a little bit, everything really consuming my life, you know. Um, I'll 
come out of my den some days, like my little cave of a den, and realizing that I've been on the computer for hours, and that just the time flies by so quickly, and I'll come out and I'll look at my watch and I'm like, whoa, like I haven't even urinated today. That's way too much information, but I'm just telling you. Like, that's how much it sort of, like, really, like, sucks you in. Um, but I find it really fun. I'm a complete rookie at it. I have taken no courses at it. And um, it's just, it's it's different. It's fun. And I think it's really, like, it's really paying off. And I've had a lot of positive feedback. So it must be working. Anyways, um... I'm gonna go ahead and show you my outfit of the day. So I'm gonna position it again up there because that seemed to work the best. People messaged me and said the lighting and stuff was good and they could see everything. So I have my laptop plugged in right now. I'm gonna unplug it. Hopefully it doesn't die. It's probably a sign. It's like you didn't talk too much, right? Um. Okay. So for my nails, I have on just like a red shimmery nail polish. It is, I have it right here actually. It's called Thanks So Muchness. And it's, yeah, it's like a red shimmer. It's, it's really beautiful. I'm actually gonna wear this for the party as well. It matches my bright red lipstick. And um, for my jewelry, I have on just my Pandora that I wear literally every single day. I have on this, um, leopard print scarf that I got probably like five or I think four years ago um, in New York from H&M. I love it. It's got like little jingleys on it and I love leopard print. I think it really complements people with red hair and my sort of skin tone. For my top, I'm wearing a black sheer billowy top. It's actually quite long. I, I almost say it's like an artist smock. I got it from Crave Beauty and it is the brand Nymph. Um, <laughs> and my skirt is from Aritzia. It is uh, Wilfred. It's like a high waisted mini with like an exposed zipper. Woo! It makes my booty look booty delicious. Um, and my tights are I don't know what they are actually I have no idea but they're super 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 thick are tights the ones with feet yes that's what they are they're tights so they're super thick and my shoes are my Franco Sarto red um, wedge booties um I don't know if you can see them They're kind of like a maroon color. I showed them the other day. And of course, my Nine West um, crossbody slouchy bag. You can wear it like this. Or you can wear it like this. Whatever. Um, so that's my outfit of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you're having a great day. I will speak to you soon. I'm sure I'll be on here on Saturday showing you the tutorial for my hair. And I hope you guys have a fabulous and amazing weekend, whatever you're doing out there. If it's a Halloween party, you're just relaxing at home. So I'll talk to you all soon. Be kind to one another. Mwah, mwah, mwah.